Hey everybody, this is Eric for the Little White House and today I am doing a review. It's a long overdue review. Um, I did not contact these people, but they contacted me and asked me if I would be willing to. And so I told them I would be happy to after having uh, several emails and, and determining that this was not like a COVID-19 type of personal protection mask, but this is actually a dust mask with a active carbon filter to keep dust out. On, on the back of the package, it gives you things like uh, uh, a description of the dual one-way valve technology, uh, the filter lifespan and return policy, mesh construction materials uh, description, fitting instructions, suggested applications, care, cleaning and storage, and how to replace the filter. And with the mask they gave about six extra carbon filters and two extra ports or two packages of extra ports and then they gave you uh, an ex it's like a strap um, this strap apparently they had received some people saying that uh, there you know that it was customer feedback and and the customer feedback was the mask <laughs> puts pressure on my ears and nose by pulling everything down. The ear loops pulled my ears down so that I looked like Baby Yoda. Uh, can't fit very well, falls off easily, uncomfortable with prolonged use. Well, <clears throat> I didn't have any of those problems. My only problem was that it was 80 degrees out today and so even though I could breathe well in it, my face was sweating and um, you know it has a it has a thing here that says care should be taken when using the equipment at low temperatures as excessive moisture may cause valves to freeze. Well, you know, it was 80 degrees or 80 plus degrees out today, so I did not have that problem. But um, overall, the mask did what it said it was going to do. It kept the dust out. I could breathe fine. So other than being uncomfortable because I was sweating inside of it. Um, it was a very good mask and I would use it uh, if I needed to uh, in when I had some kind of excessive dust. Uh, however, they sent two in the package and Seth already cobbed on to one of those. He thought they looked really neat and so he wants to take one to school with him and Abigail really wants the other one even though even though it's way too big for her just, since Seth got the other one she really wants the the free one so I probably won't have access to those masks anytime in the near future again but if I needed to I would certainly go to their website which is going to be down below in the description box and I would um, go purchase one along with uh, whatever accessories were needed to do the job anyway that's my two cents for the day Thanks for watching, God bless, and see you next time.